back with another video series and in this video I'll be just uh, talking about Ansible I uh, will not be doing uh, some hands-on uh, writing scripts or anything but just I would like to make you guys clear on what Ansible is what it can do right and I'll try to make it clear from one very uh, short story okay uh, let's think it like this like why like uh, people ask me like uh, why do you use Ansible right and like for beginners it's very difficult to understand like how thing goes on in DevOps world you know like when I was a beginner the same thing happened to me right like uh, I used to think what the hell is this so, uh, so what are the things uh, you need to know mm, before getting into Ansible is like please have the basics knowledge of uh, bash script at least for those who wants to get into the de devops right because ansible is nothing right so whatever you do manually we will write a script or it's called playbook in terms of ansible that will do the things for us right we we won't do like from next time we won't do the things manually but our script will do it for us okay so uh, let me begin the story so this is me smart guy right so he works in a company suppose say he need to deliver a, a computer right suppose every day he delivers a computer to a client like when you go to the market and buy a laptop or say any kind of uh, systems what do you look for you look for hardware right you look for what is the OS in there right and so best suppose if someone wants to upgrade their uh, RAM or suppose they want they don't want just 4 GB RAM but 8 GB then he has to do the work right he will set up the system as the client wants and deliver it to them right so this is one systems will deliver it to the client so another day again this client comes and he looks for the system and again next day he set up things uh, do whatever installation he need to do and give it back to the client right same thing like making the systems uh, adding necessary features or softwares like he's doing the same things again and again right so in DevOps using Ansible what we do is uh, provisioning you know it's called uh, provisioning which means like adding it's just like adding what are the software you want when you first buy a system right well, suppose you bought a window systems then what are the things you want to add like photo serves or what else you want right same thing that's called provisioning and that's what Ansible does right so uh, suppose now let me uh, get into more technical suppose you want a system you want an instance right that must have Ubuntu that must have web server like nginx right and it must have some uh, file uh, farzula or file sharing or something like that right so what he can do is manually set up everything right isn't that possible yes but it takes a lot of time suppose uh, it takes suppose if he's, he is an expert and okay he finishes his finish it in two, 10 minutes right but what if he needs to provision or create 100 machines then it will take a lot of time right so uh, so what is the uh, basic talks we told here like he need to add suppose 
um, Ubuntu and and add Nginx and add Farzilla right so even for same things you need to do the same thing again and again right so instead of doing that what we will do is we will use Ansible right so with Ansible what happens is like you can do the manual tax automate the manual tax right so he'll write a playbook so what that will do is like he will write an instruction like force I uh, need to have Ubuntu there and add Nginx and it should have this 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 kind of uh, configurations and add Firezilla right so from the next time suppose this is my playbook right so from next time what he does is he justly just simply runs this script right so he don't have to do anything manually right just he will start this playbook and everything will happen automatically right whatever is written in that playbook right okay uh, like if I get enough time in I'll, I'll be showing like how to set up Ansible like how to s write a simple playbook mm, like I'll, I'll, I'll try to choose each and every modules right it's not uh, believe me more Ansible is not that hard it will just take one or two days to get into it but the thing is like you must be uh, handy with uh, writing scripts right at least passive scripts and um, in Ansible what we do is just whatever we do manually we will turn that into a uh, automation process right so I hope um, you're clear with what Ansible really does and if you have any questions you can comment me down below mm. or if you still have confusions or anything if I have missed please let me know thank you